You, you know how I am about, about scripture. I, I'd rather read the Bible than, than <laughs> just really talk. But there's a scripture in Titus chapter 2. And here's what he says here. In Titus chapter 2, he says um, that uh, the, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, Amen. and godly in this present world. So the grace of God teaches us to deny ungodliness. Right. And then the Bible says in Romans chapter 6, 14, he says that uh, the fact that we are no longer under the law, but we're under grace. So sin shall not have dominion over you That's because right. you're not under the law, but you're under grace. Right. So being under grace doesn't say, uh, now that I'm under grace, I can live like a hellion. Now that I'm under grace, I can just, you know, somebody says, well, I don't have to go to church anymore. Well, you're stupid if you don't. <laughs> That's right. Because That's right. you're not going to learn and you're not going to understand what you need to understand where the grace of God is coming. So the grace empowers us. Amen. It empowers us to, to live a life that pleases God. Let, let me